Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these really cool layer styles. This tutorial is requested by Captain David J. So yeah, thank you for the request. And uh, yeah, I'll release this layer style pack at 50 likes. I know it's a bit of a push, but we have been getting that on our recent videos. So I can't thank you guys enough for the support. So yeah, we'll release this pack at 50 likes. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So we're just going to make a new document. I've just got this document set up. And uh, yeah, so the, the dimensions really don't matter just because text can be resized as much as you like without them damaging the quality. So yeah, the, the text, uh, I mean the dimensions don't matter. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be using this document. All, I, all I've literally done is um, go to our text tool over here, just press, uh, just click anywhere, just type in text. Then you can press the command key and drag out using shift and alt and then you can resize your text that way. And uh, yeah, so now we've done that, we can go over to, over here, double click on the layer, and then open our layer style. If you only have a few effects here, that means that you've used a layer style in the past with only a few layer f uh, with only a few um, effects to it. So what you want to do is you're going to go to uh, effects down in the corner, go to show all effects, and now we can see that we got all of them. Okay, so we're going to be making a blue layer style, kind of like this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to gradient overlay first. So once we go to gradient overlay, make sure this is on normal, make sure the opacity is on 100%. And uh, yeah, so first off, we're going to go to our gradient, just click on it, and then we're going to make a blue. So we're going to click on our first color and then change this to a nice blue. So, okay. Let's find a nice color that we like and then click onto our second color and then we find the darker version. So we're going to go for a bit of a navy here. Uh, let's try and find a nice navy. Okay, that works pretty well. As you can see, we've got a nice gradient coming, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And so yeah, once we've done that, we're going to go to satin. And once we're on satin, we're going to change the contour to the second one. And we're going to make the um, we're going to change the blend mode to overlay, and then we're going to change the color to a white. As you can see, it already looks pretty cool. We've got added a bit of I want to say texture to it, so like you can see that there's quite a lot going on already and we haven't even done that much. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to just fiddle around with the size and the distance. The, the, the You can just mess around with it, it literally looks good no matter how which way you do it. But the size is basically how blurred you want, it's like if we turn the size right down, you can see these lines inside. And um, if you increase the size, it basically just blurs them and it looks really cool. And so yeah, we can mess around with the distance. And okay, that looks, looks, looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like underwater, and I kind of like that effect. So yeah, once we're done fiddling around with our satin, what we can do is we can go to our inner glow. And what this does is, it literally does what it says. We've added a glow to the inside. So what I've done is I've increased my opacity to 100%, make sure the blend mode is on overlay, and then make sure this color is a white. I don't usually use gradients, but sometimes they can work well. But uh, for this one, we're just gonna use a solid one. And for the for the um, the choke and the size, we can I like to increase the choke a bit, just so it looks like it's a thin line, kind of like a stroke. But and um, but then um, look, decrease the size. And as you can see, we've got this really clean, thin line going around the text, and it looks really cool. And uh, yeah, so now we've done that, we can go to our drop shadow. And it might be hard to see that in the video just because of the dark background, but we've added a shadow in the background. I usually keep the distance the distance on zero, and then keep the blend mode on multiply, and then uh, yeah. So the size basically increases the thickness of it, and the spread kind of like if you if the if the spread goes a lot higher than the size, you can see it just turns into a stroke, and we don't really want that. So just make sure they're relatively the same, and yeah, that should look pretty good. Now we've done all this changing, we can actually go back to our gradient overlay and make it look a bit better. So we can like change it to colors that might suit better. So we can see that if we make the, the top bit a bit darker, you can see a bit more of the satin come out and that looks really nice as well. So um, yeah, we can just mess around with it. I might change the blue a bit more as well, just to make it a bit more blue. And yeah, okay, that looks pretty cool. So that's really easy a way of making a really cool layer style. And if you wanted to, you can just change the color to whatever you want. You can even try some gradient maps that you that you may have by your, already. It's like just me selecting a random one. It looked really cool that way as well. So we can just decrease the darkness of the bottom. And then we've got kind of a fade going from a, um, a blue to a black and it looks really nice. 
So uh, yeah, so that's basically how you just do this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget, if you get 50 likes on the video, I will post this um, download in the description. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you found this helpful, and I'll see you guys in my next video.